Welcome back to Return of the Ober Din. No, oh, it's raining. Yes, it is raining. All right, let's fill up the book here and get things finished up. Oh, we got, we got so close. You're so close. You did good. You did, did very good. Well, let me see how how we're doing. Uh, all right, so we'll start here from loose cargo from the tip. We got our that, two dead that, guys. That's that's all good. The bitter cold. The bitter cold. And got, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got, him, got, got the cow. Got the cow. <laughs> so that's all done. Murder. Uh, we, we got, got everything. All murder. On the open sea. And calling. Yeah, we did. We did, we did calling pretty good. All right. Except and for the except for these two. Okay. So these guys I had trouble with. All right. So the calling the unknown soul at the bottom. For some reason, I feel he's Russian. Well, you were right on that. I was right on that. They are so, indeed Russian. So I only had two Russian guys to choose from left. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, there is a place we can go. Let us Show me. head to a bitter cold one. By the way, I'm not playing anymore. Yes, I, I am playing now. Yes. I'm, I'm here to enjoy <laughs> the story, and then eventually it will be uh, given back Let's to me. Let's see which one was a bitter cold. Had to have been one of the hammocks. Yes. Down below uh, Better Cold was down below. With the giant, disgusting thing. Yes. Yes. Uh, hammocks. Hammock, hammock, hammock. There we are. Uh, wait, never mind. <laughs> are you Bitter Cold? Hang on. Hello? Here we go. Uh, was it this guy? Oh, you're close. So right, keep forward, going forward. Forward to the left. There we go. Forward and slightly to the left. Probably this guy. Oh, yes. Okay. Got lost on my own boat. All right. All right. So, so the the Russians are playing cards, correct? Yes. And we've only non-identified two of them. They were back there. Yeah, back here. All right. So is this my guy? My guy. That's Leonid Volkov. No, I didn't. It wasn't him. It was another. So he's a he's a top. Another man. dude with a beard. It's these it's, two yeah. that we get that we need to identify. Okay. So if they have, they're right next to their hammocks, correct? Yes. Okay. I think this is the guy I'm looking for. Yeah. This, both of these guys are the guys that you're looking for. And yeah, this guy. Okay. Are there any hints that just stick out like a sore thumb that I missed? Or is it actually, have we reached the process of elimination? Actually, which one has the pipe? We never identified that dude. Oh, we already, we already identified him. Oh, we did? Yes. Oh, crap. Sorry. All right, so, so they're right. 47. 47 has a bag there hanging, and it has a pipe. Yes. And you're saying we did identify number 47? Well, essentially, we're supposed to know that this guy in the center, probably because of his pipe, this is... Is... Go to the next page. Alarkis Nikishin. He was the one with the pipe? Yes. I thought that was 47. This guy here, because he was by his pipe, by his hammock, is Alexei Toporov. Oh. So that's the Russians taken care of. Okay. So let's take a look at the book now. Okay. Oh, uh, I it? think it's a Y to take you all the way back to the beginning. Right. Unholy captives. So it's those guys taking care of only captives. This guy. Yeah, this guy. This guy, I'm just going to tell you right now, this is the guy from Sierra Leone. Okay. And there's another three. Mm -hmm. 
Now, for that one, you would just identify it based on how he looks. Yeah, uh, th there's a, there's another guy who you think might be, you know, you know, he's he's dark skinned, so you might think African. It's kind of hard to tell, but he has a distinctly English accent, so it, it uh, that marks him. Oh, off. okay. Everybody so. else of darker ethnicity has been accounted for or of a different. Uh, nationality gotcha leaving him to be the guy from sierra leone okay uh right. next up next on the list okay cool soldiers of the sea i think we got all oh wait whoa hey you all right soldiers of the sea part three no he got spiked he definitely got spiked but i don't think it was him saying on demo on demo now this is the uh this is the carpenter's mate Oh, okay. Marcus Gibbs. Yeah. Sorry you got spiked, bro. Up. Oh, this guy up here. Decapitated by a terrible beast. I I can't and remember anything we saw. Was James Wallace? Really? Yes. Oh. Well, all right then. Then uh, going forward. Done with uh, that. We just got some. Everybody little, the little bit of cleanup. Oh. There we go. This guy. <laughs> oh, that poor soul. Yeah, this this poor guy, uh, that's, uh, George Shirley. Really? Any hints on that one, or just process of elimination? The process of elimination. Most most of these are process of elim elimination. Damn. The carpenters are kind of difficult because, you know, one of them calls out for the for, for the boss! Yeah! And then the, the guy who, you know, Winston Smith comes out and he's like, huh? And then he's working... Working gotcha. On. So you know that he is a carpenter, but not specifically the main carpenter. But he's so, a mate. Yes. Gotcha. Damn, I should have put that together. That's okay. That's okay. You did you did great. I mean, look at all these stuff you're you already filled in by yourself. Ain't, ain't that fantastic? You know I'm gonna play this again after this, just to see if I can I do hope, it. I hope you do. Alright, the Doom disappearance. I also want to see the alternate ending. Okay, disappearances. So he was uh, drowned. I have no idea. I barely saw this guy in That's Nathan. anything. Really? We're supposed to t you know, consider that as Nathan. I think they call out at, at one point. He's the last... No, I was thinking of Topman. Never mind. This guy had the distinct English accent, oh! so leaving him to be Alexander Booth. And I do believe that might be everything. Yep, that's it. Oh! Because that's all, that's all we can account for. Because everyone else is alive. Uh, yep. Well, every, everyone else is alive, or, you know, there's just a couple guys we don't know about. So it should fill in. What? That's not correct. Okay. Right. Uh, and then the this, is all, oh, this is all bargain. The bargain. Yep. Then the escape. Okay. Oh, this has been fun. I like this. Th I think that's it. And then the end. Oh, 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 oh. okay. An we unknown just... attacker. That's uh, you know, we we know who everybody is by now. Yeah, we'd... so let's just let's just go to the doom itself or, or uh, the end and uh, figure it out. But we start, have... you know, end the way we started. Confused. At at the end, I mean. Oh, well, shouldn't we fill in the blanks on who killed those gentlemen, or do we still not know? That's precisely what we're doing because we can just look at it and say, "Oh, it's that guy." Oh. Oh, right. Duh. We can feel like it's you know a, a, a logical conclusion instead of me just telling you the answer. Okay. It's unfortunate that I don't recall any of these people's names. <laughs> I'm really bad at names. Cool. Okay, this one. Alright. Yeah, we should be able to figure this out now. Yes. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two. Very fitting. Oh! Okay, so Henry Brennan got got by this dude, who was... The captain! The captain! He Obviously. got killed by the captain! Well, alright. It is knife by Captain Robert Whittle. Well, shit, we could have figured... We could have, like, filled this out ages ago. Of course. Now, uh, the last... The other person. Uh, he also died in the end. Now, where was he? Was, was it this it guy? This guy? Hey, you. Yeah. So he probably got clubbed by the captain, too. Yeah, we could probably just, you know, club by the captain. Safe to assume. Yo! That's the, that's the final two. Yeah! All currently solvable fates... Yeah! ...have been solved. Aw, oh, that's great. I All like that. Alright. 
We filled out the book! Ding! And ding! Yes! But there's two fates we haven't solved yet. Correct. There's nothing to do- nothing left to do on the Oberdin. So now we leave. Yeah, let me see that list! So what happened to Martin Parrot? The third mate is missing. What happened to the third mate? What happened and to... And what happened to Philip Dahl? The Captain Steward. I mean... Philip Dahl... ...was the guy who did the actual murder. Oh shit, he escaped. What happened to him? He was he was being taken away by, I assume... ...who was the, the, the third mate. Uh... I mean, where is he showed up? Um uh, no. Hmm. I think they planned a mutiny. Something, something's going on here. It's fishy. We'll find out in the bargain chapter. In the next episode. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All, All right, right, get me off the ship. Yep, we're done on the Oberdin. It's cursed. Time to head on down. Get me out of here. A lot of bad stuff happened here, man. You <laughs> row as far and as fast away as you can. You've been gone for like three hours, man. All right, let's go. go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. This is this oh. is your chance to back out. <laughs> I like that actually. Finally, sit down so you don't fall out. <clears throat> gotcha. Where do you take it from here? Oh, okay. We are heading into the end game. Oh, I hope the last guy dies by our hand. And we are added to the history books of the Obradin. How could that be? We are just an unrelated inspector. I don't know. This is, this is this isn't like, you know, a hidden extra chapter. This is chapter eight. The blank space. Shit, you're right. So hey! the Honorable East India Company insurance assessment for the good ship Obradin, victim of calamitous events <laughs> at sea. That's an understatement. A Twenty-three page report. Oof. Here we go. So Damaged in school. <laughs> oh, this this is an insurance claim. Yeah. Yep. Twenty thousand euros, I believe. D this is an insurance claims adventure, after all. Five thousand for cargo lost. Three thousand for the crown. So Robert Witterall had a suicide of the gun. Yeah. Yep, so his died. estate is forfeited to the crown, even though he was he murdered hit four of his crewmates. William Hoskett. He lost. Oh wow! <laughs> so so twenty five. Uh yeah. Theft of cargo a hundred. Oh wow. So Martin Parrott has been awarded for his valor and exceptional performance of duties. Uh, so he, we give him ninety pounds. Pounds. That's it. We find uh, John, John Davies fifteen. We fi we uh, find. Uh, Alfred got awarded seventy. Uh, Bozen's mate claimed. killed a crewmate. But we don't know where he, you know, where he came from because oh, you know he was, he was a French guy. So we don't know which estate in France he came from. Bozen Smith. Oh, this is so that, good. Or all that. It's just. I I love that the the insurance guy who got this probably like what the fuck happened on that ship. <laughs> and you're saying you saw everything? Oh God. So, now I have to run a theory by you. Yeah. Was that Kraken as a result of, like, one last-ditch effort to get everything back from the mermaids? Oh, you, I'll take or, questions after the bargain. All right, all right, all right. That, this is very interesting, though. Or funny, in a way. Just kind of seeing everything that you've done. Yeah. All of it written down. There's nothing like good paperwork being Shot, completed. Gun. E. Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are there any specific ones that are that like jump out to you that are funny or just this is just literally funny. just the report? People are dead, man. Hey, death is hilarious. So total claim <laughs> almost thirty thousand pounds. Oh, that's all. All we gotta do is just give her a little signature, and then it's been officialized. The chief inspector, Arugoro. Pocket watch remains in your possession. Because, you know, no one's come to take it back yet, so I guess I'll just hold on to it. The 
The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. All right. You know, he's, you know, alive and all that. Mm-hmm. So, sign, stamp, delivered. Sign, seal, deliver. See ya. And then, well, a year passes. Oh, man. We got quite a lovely little place here, yeah. you know? Just in, in our study, like candlelight. Huh. Enjoying Enjoy, our enjoying tea. Yep, enjoying it's all good, yeah. We got ourselves a nice little abode for our great work. It's good, simple, clean. All of our books, all of our past casings. Inside. I'll be turning in now. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. I wonder what he gave me. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't able to move, so I just wanted to hear what was in the background. It's the head of the remaining people! The head? No! The finger! Don't be stupid. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful <laughs> chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. The Oberdin continues to kill! She has varying degrees of coldness depending on how well you did it. Like, if you did so bad, like, he... Like, <laughs> if you send the book back in such a sorry state, it actually makes his condition worse, and he dies more from that than his illness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, we got the book back. We got the book back. We're gonna do the eighth chapter. The tale belongs to you now. Please finish Please it. finish it. Okay. And then everything oh, is the, already, the same. Everything just so uh, we can we can say he died uh, from the crew. Right? Well, he, he, this is you know what happened in the events of this book. Okay, he died like seven years after the, after this. So okay, so we can't do anything right now. No. Okay. Because there's a, something else that he gave us there. Yeah, this. Is it the oh? Is it the watch or the compass? Uh, oh. It's a hand. Most likely his hand. Ha 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 ha! Yes! Yes! Allow me to find out what happened! This is how we get into Chapter 8. Welcome to the end game. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. There you go. What are you up to? Nothing good. <gasps> oh! It was a rat? It was a monkey. A monkey? He sent us a monkey monkey's paw. He cut off the monkey's paw, threw it in here. So that way, somebody with a memento mori who knows everything about the tale can see what happened in oh. this lazarette. Oh, something nefarious and awful happened in here. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna find out what happened. These are our remaining these, dudes. To these last two folks. His arm is nothing. He has no more arm. Uh, and uh, oh, look, uh, doesn't that look familiar? Absolutely, it does. Something bad happened here. Because you know what happened after Bargain? Escape! This was right after the Doom, and then what happened in here? People were like, nope, we're getting the fuck off of here! Excellent. So thanks to the monkey's paw... Oh my god! <laughs> uh, a friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Okay. So this guy, the where, where is he? The third mate. 
It looked like he got spiked. Well, we won't know for sure. Shit. Not not in Bergen 5, but we're going for like Bergen 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Man. Goddamn monkey. <laughs> I love the guy back there. What did you do? Nothing good. Oh, yeah, I figured, yeah. Okay. A third shell. Captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. Stop, why? Well, let you free. Give it the shell. Do it. Hoist it out. To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when, when you leave. Get the tail, boy. You return. The ship. The Uberton. Well, that didn't happen. Yeah, so that was the end of the voyage. So he got spiked by a mermaid he was trying to free, I assume. Yep. Uh, there's, there's him. Whoa, shiny. It's one of the shells. Oh, so there was a shell outside of the Oberdin. That was the shiny thing we saw in the distance, yeah? Yes. So, uh, we know... Uh, I think we've identified who that guy is. This the guy? guy? The, the guy who died. The uh, other end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the third mate. Yeah, it's because he's talking to his third mate's mate. Oh, okay. So, trying to throw the mermaid back with its shells. Okay. Yep, we know how you died, mate. Mm-hmm. You were spiked by, by a terrible a beast. Terrible, terrible beast. Okay, where are we off to next? It, oh, is that another mermaid? <laughs> I'll kill every last one of you monsters. Withdraw the Kraken, or I will kill you all! Ah! Huh. Captain's trying to negotiate and doing a pretty terrible job of it. Ah. Uh. So the shell has properties of disintegration. Or maybe he's just an unlucky soul. They're they're shiny and they're powerful and they trigger the greed in men. Aye, aye, aye. Remember in Aladdin where uh, the, the the cave of wonders said, "Touch nothing but the lamb." Yeah. Well, don't touch the shells. And uh, well, they wanted to touch the shells and it summoned the mermaids and all this terrible stuff. Great. Instead of giving the shells back, and they probably leave them alone, they had to keep them, and they had to fight them, and then they got they got their crab mounts, and then they got the kraken to help them. Yeah. Yeah. So we can probably blame the captain for this. Thanks for being greedy, Captain. Wait, who's next? Another one? Another one. How many of these did they keep? Quite a lot. Like, did they come on shore and then they just like knocked Quite them out or enough, something? Damn you. This is your Kraken! You brought it here! Send it back! This is soon after the doom. Right, so... Captain sent the Kraken... Or, sorry, they sent the Kraken to help the mermaids and get the shell and yeah, everything. The Kraken is his fault. Great. Oh, he's got a little bit... No, his hand is still gone. Dead gone. Huh. So we can just blame the captain for all this. Yep. That's what I'm hearing. Because he didn't want to give the shells back. He wanted to, to, to keep them and hoard them and keep these monstrosities in captivity. It's mine. 
Then Henry Evans saw what was going on, wanted to know what happened in here, threw the monkey's paw in there, and was like, I gotta get off this fucking ship. And he made off with Miss Jack- uh, with uh, Miss Jane Bird and, uh, Emily Jackson and the- uh, I, th I think, uh, his third mate. Yes. Wow. The- the, the third mate Stewart, I mean. Very interesting. And now for the final chapter. Yep, you. Uh, the, la the last fellow, the Captain Steward. The Swedish guy who murdered a Formosan... or not a Formosan, he, he, he murdered uh, an Italian gentleman on board the ship and framed another man for it. What was he up to? What's this? Quicksilver. Oh, oh! It burned his hand so much that he died. He opened. He was the one who opened the box, and he grabbed the shell, and he perished for it. Wow. So the captain didn't help matters, but he may have started this whole mess. This guy. These shells must have a lot of power. Power we humans cannot wield. Or maybe even permitted to wield. Huh. That almost looks like a hand. Like a demon hand. Mm. Huh. So we danced with the devil and perished for it. So what can we classify this as? Like demonic or scorching? You can put burn to death. Burn to death? Okay. Accessible only through another corpse. It's kind of ironic that he's showing his hands pretty clearly when uh, they get, uh, yeah. <laughs> well done. All fates correct. Good Philip, job, Philip. Philip Dahl doomed the ship. And so did he. Well, great. Tick. And do, do, tick. Do, do, do. That is every fate on the Oberdin. And that's all. That's the tale of the return of the Oberdin. Wow. It, oh. I thought they were finally letting me in here. <laughs> nope, they're just leading me nope, out. They're letting you out. <sighs> well, that's something I didn't need to see. Another case solved, and another magical MacGuffin to add to the collection. That was cool! That was the return of the Oberdin. That was cool! The Breakaway Sleeper Hit 2018. What'd you think? That was really neat! Aw, that's cute. Yeah, what an interesting tale. I love the idea of just seeing a snapshot of what happened. This, this was meant to be a, a smaller scale game, but because of the sheer scope of the narrative, it just ballooned in size. So now Lucas Pope is like, oh, I'm gonna make smaller games from now on. I'm just, I'm just gonna, just, just, yeah. just, 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 yeah. Well, I still consider Papers, Please to be bigger than this, because we finished this in what, three, four hours? Well, uh, ish. O Oprah Din has uh, certainly a bigger scope than Papers, Please. Papers, Please just has a, uh, a uh, smaller gameplay loop. That's true. Yeah, this one was a gigantic mystery that you could solve based on context clues. This one's far more structured and, you know, way, way, way larger. I'm so happy that we did the demo of this so many years ago. Yeah. And then to see the finished product is like, oh, ah, chef's kiss. Fabulous. Did a, did a fantastic job, Lucas did. Also, out of nowhere, like, amazing voice work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, excuse me, I need you to gargle a little bit more. You're choking on your own blood. <laughs> yeah, when we started listening to uh, the different scenes, I was like, oh, damn. This is actually, like, really good sound design, top-notch. Of course, when you don't have to focus on too much of the other aspects of game design, you can make the other ones that you're primarily focusing on shine brighter. Yeah. Like shells in the sea. 
So if you were to go through the entire storybook from start to finish, it started off pretty terribly, and then we found something we weren't supposed to find, and then all hell broke loose. Yeah. So, go over to the, the chapters again. It started with Cargo. So, all right. Uh, Two we, dudes dying. So, just, just going through my, my book here. We got Loose Cargo, where it uh, starts out bad with... Two you people know, dying. Yeah, yeah, two people dying. Well, actually, you know, one of... Just a seaman. Samuel Peters' death started the whole thing. And then he had, like, you know, this... this yeah, his, his brother... It was, of course, distraught over this, but they still got to sail. And then yeah, a, bit, yeah. a bitter cold, a couple of dudes die from lung disease, and that that, that kind of gets everything Yeah, bad. that's that's bad. Uh, murder one, somebody murders another guy for... Maybe for the shells, maybe for something else, maybe just, you know, you know, you know my shells, you get you get out of here. Uh-huh. Then, uh, after, after that, we got, uh, well, the, the execution at sea, then the, then the calling happened, where, right. uh... <laughs> Uh, Eric Nichols you know, just takes the, the treasure and just fucks off out of here. So, wait. They had the treasure on board at the beginning, and then they went for more? Uh, yeah, I think that was a Formosan thing. I think it was, that was a Formosan thing. They were The they, Formosans they were, they were got the yeah. shell. Yeah. Oh, they, wow. They probably knew about it, and they, and they were doing all right with it. And then Edward Nichols did. His, his greed overtook everything. And then Unholy Captives, oh, hey, there are mermaids here. Maybe we can, like, you know... To uh -huh. Take it back to the mainland or whatever, and all that—that that didn't go so well. And then when they had and then soldiers of the sea, more started to come because we started going <laughs> with more to the more to the of the shells. And they brought friends. Y yeah. And then after that was uh, the doom <laughs> when the kraken appeared. <laughs> uh oh. And then everybody decided, fuck this. And then after that was bargain. Where we were, you know, yeah. So we we figured out what caused the, everything. Yeah, the, the the shells were the problem. Then everyone's like, "Fuck this!" And then escape happened. Mutiny happened. It, you know, just you know, everyone's yeah. shooting one another. Everyone's trying to kill one another. And then as and the then, captain is trying to, and then the end, stop the, the mutiny. bitter bitter end, yeah. where Cap the the final piece of mutiny takes place. Captain kills himself. And then the captain kills himself. Ending the tale of the Obra Dinn as it lies adrift at sea, without a crew, without any people on board, and with so much death left within its decks. Yeah, wow. And, uh, yeah, we saw a shell out in the distance. Mm -hmm. That explains what that is. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. We finished that four hours, 22 minutes. Not bad. Yep. All 60 fates solved. And this is on my personal profile, which means I can go back and get the other endings just to see how how good they are. And to see... Actually, I want to hear all the voice clips again. I got I got the Platinum on the PS4 version. Uh, it's basically just solve all the fates. and uh, But there, there's a special one for uh, solving all the fates, but having the captain be responsible for everything. Just have the... Just for, for all the fates, have the captain axed everybody and for the captain to say he committed suicide, so... <laughs> So, there you go! The captain did it all! Uh, there's, there, there's a special trophy, but no special ending, but Miss Jane Bird is not... Not happy. Not pleased. Oh, that's actually not funny. Pleased. Oh, this guy exploded by the, the captain. The captain did it all? But that means that I died, and so did Miss... Did, did this inspector fucked us all! That's the last time I go with State Farm! Fucker phoned it in! How could he? <laughs> okay, I really like that. Well, uh... That'll do for Halloween 2021. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, well, we'll see you next month with more stuff. Yeah, time to rewind. Time to rewind. The book's bargain chapter will be reset, but no other uh, progress will be lost. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs>